James Jordan quit smoking after 27 years to fulfill his father dying wish after begging his son to kick his habit. Former Strictly Come Dancing professional James, 44, was left heartbroken when his beloved father, Alan passed away, and in a bid to honor his dear dad, James made it his mission to quit smoking for the sake of his two-year-old daughter, Ella. Although James danced professionally for years on the iconic BBC One dance competition, the Strictly Come Dancing star found himself smoking a minimum of 20 cigarettes a day for nearly three decades before finally going cold turkey. After enjoying a packet of cigarettes a day for almost 30 years, James decided that enough was enough when his dying dad pleaded with him to stop so that he would be around long enough to watch his beloved daughter grow up. Opening up about his journey to health after quitting his lifelong habit, James revealed, It upsets me now to say it actually but I remember my dad saying to me, I'm so sad I'm not gonna see your daughter grow up. And it just hit home really, what am I doing? Smoking these bloody cigarettes, I don't need to do this. If my dad can go what Hess going through, I can quit smoking for my daughter, and that's what I did, he told Mail Online. James went on, I remember paying £12 a pack of cigarettes, the ones I was smoking. So I know I was pretty much spending £100 a week on cigarettes. Now if you go back, that's a lot of people's mortgages. It wasn't necessarily about the money, although it's great to be saving £400 a month. It was more for my health, I wanna be here for my daughter. I feel I've got my smell back. My taste is better, I taste food better, I feel more fit. I don't get as out of breath. There's so many great benefits in stopping smoking. James was left utterly devastated last year when his beloved dad passed away in March after battling a stage 4 brain tumor called glioblastoma. The tragic death of his dear dad came months after James welcomed daughter Ella with wife Ola Jordan. Alan was diagnosed with the brain tumor in 2020 after suffering a series of strokes. Following his father's tragic passing, James urged his followers make themselves aware of the symptoms. My dad had a stage 4 brain tumor, a glioblastoma. He was diagnosed approximately one year ago, and myself and my family watched him slowly disappear, he said on Instagram after his dad's death. It's an absolutely horrendous, horrendous disease. Cancer is awful no matter which cancer it is, but brain tumor in particular takes away that person's identity a lot. Brain tumors are the biggest cancer killers in children and adults under 40, and out of £600 million which is raised currently in the UK, less than 3% of that goes to funding for brain tumor treatments. <laughs>